My name is Sam Vaknin, and I'm the author of Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisited. Here is the narcissist's monologue, inner and sometimes outer. The narcissist says, I cannot understand so-called normal people. I don't know what makes them tick. To me, the narcissist, they're an enigma, wrapped in a mystery. I try hard not to offend them, to act civil, to be helpful and forthcoming. I give so much in my relationships that I often feel exploited. I make it a point not to strain my contacts, not to demand too much, not to impose, says the narcissist. But it's not working. Folks I consider friends vanish suddenly without as much as a goodbye. The more I help someone, insists the narcissist, the less grateful he or she seems to be, and the more repelled by me. The narcissist continues. I find jobs for people, lend a hand with various chores, make valuable introductions, give advice, and charge nothing for my services, which in some cases are rendered over many years, day in and day out. Yet it seems that I can do nothing right. They accept my aid and succor grudgingly, and then disengage, until the next time I'm needed. I'm not the victim of a group of callous and ruthless people. Some of these ingrates are otherwise most warm and empathic towards others. It just seems that they cannot find in them warmth and empathy enough for me, no matter how much I try to make myself both useful and agreeable. The narcissist wonders to himself, perhaps I try too hard. Maybe my efforts show. Am I transparent? Well, the narcissist concludes, of course I am. What comes to normal people naturally, social interaction, to me, is an excruciating effort that involves analysis, pre pretense, and thespian skills. I misread the ubiquitous language of social cues. I'm awkward and unpleasant, but I rarely ask for anything in return for my favors, except to be somewhat tolerated. Maybe the recipients of my recurrent magnanimity feel humiliated and inferior to me, and consequently hate me for it. I don't know what to think anymore, says the narcissist, exasperated. So, the narcissist continues, my social milieu resembles bubbles in a stream. People pop up, make my acquaintance, avail themselves of anything I have to offer them, and disappear discourteously. Inevitably, I trust no one, and avoid hurt by remote, remaining emotionally aloof and absent. But this tactic only exacerbates the situation. When I try to press the point, says the narcissist, when I ask, is anything wrong with me, or how can I improve, my interlocutors impatiently detach, seldom to reappear. When I try to balance the equation by very rarely asking for a commensurate service or a favor in return, I am utterly ignored, or my request is curtly and monosyllabically declined. It's like people are saying, you are such a loathsome being that merely keeping your company is a sacrifice. You should bribe us to associate with you, however coolly. You should buy our icy friendship and our limited willingness to listen. You deserve no better than these concessions that we are granting you reluctantly. You should feel grateful that we agree to take that which you have to give us. Expect nothing in return but our truncated attention. And I, says the narcissist, I am a mental leper. I endorse these terms of dubious endearment. I dole out gifts, my knowledge, my contacts, my services, my political influence, my skills such as they are. All I ask in return is not to be abandoned hastily. A few moments of make-believe. A few moments of feigned grace, that's all I ask. I acquiesce in the asymmetry of my relationships, for I deserve no better and have known no differently since my early tortured childhood. This is the narcissist monologue, and this is how he sees himself and the world around him.